Ooh, Patriots, y'all are slick. But you know what? I ain't even mad at it and I respect it. Because this just goes to show just how much of a business the NFL is. And there are different tactics, tactics that get used every single day. Sometimes we catch them, sometimes we don't. But this, this was a good one. So, as you all know, this morning it came out that the Patriots, they were releasing Stephon Gilmore. Now, the release would not be official until 4 p.m. Eastern time. So, what that essentially did was that let any teams out there know, like, hey, last chance, Stephon Gilmore, we're getting rid of him. So, if you're going to give us some form, hey, it needs to be now so we can get this process rolling. We're taking all callers today. Let us know. Hit us up. So the Panthers, who, you know what, there were some tweets that got put out of some different teams because it was said that Stephon Gilmore was seeking a contract that would pay him up to $15 million a year. So there were some tweets that got put out for some different, uh, different teams that were high in salary cap space. And guess who was, who was somewhere either at the top of the list or very, very close to the top of the list? It was the Carolina Panthers. And... It was just like, I was, when I saw that, I was like, wow, they, they got a lot of money. They could make some moves. But I'm like, nah, they just traded for uh, C.J. Henderson from the Jaguars. They're not going to be in the mix for Stephon Gilmore. Nah. But Panthers said, oh, no, you couldn't be more wrong. And I, I love how they did that. I love how they, they just replaced J.C. Horn for the year. Um, and they got C.J. Henderson from the Jags. But they would say, you know what? No, let's stay ready so we ain't got to get ready. And they doubled down. And got one of the best cornerbacks in the game when healthy. So now the hope is that he gets healthy uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and, and he, I'm not sure if he's going to stay on the physically unable to perform list or not. I believe that he would, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, um, I, I just love how this team, yeah, they just lost to the Cowboys or whatnot. But I, I still love how this team, sitting at 3-1, and one, sitting at 3-1 and one through the first part of the season. And they still decide, you know what? Let's make this team even better. Let's make the team even better. And it just works out because Stephon Gilmore, he's from South Carolina. Went to high school in South Carolina, grew up in South Carolina, and now he gets to play right there too. So what, what, what a scenario and what a story and what a turnaround from just this morning when it was looking like the Patriots were going to cut him. It's looking like the Patriots are going to just release him and not get anything for him. But the Patriots, in that Patriot way, they put out one last filler to 31 other teams. Like, hey, this your chance, big dog. Hey, this your chance, y'all. You want Stephon Gilmore? Come get him. Because once he hits the market, he's going to be hot. Now, y'all know, and I said it before, I, I felt like he was going to go. I, I thought the Bucks for sure. I was like, oh, yeah, he, he getting ready to go to Tom Brady and them. Uh, yeah, he's going, he going to Tampa Bay. He's definitely going to Tampa Bay. And now he will see Tampa Bay. He'll go to Tampa Bay, but it'll only be to uh, play them uh, in, on the Panthers schedule twice a year. Now, this um, I haven't seen the details of what they traded to acquire Stephon Gilmore yet. Um, but this right now, because he's on the last year of his deal. Patriots don't owe him any more money. They are done with Stephon Gilmore. Um, so this could be sort of his audition for the Panthers. And you got to feel like they, they're going to re-sign him to a contract extension. I mean, it's not official yet, but you got to figure if they trade him for him, especially at this point in the season, yeah, more than likely they're probably going to sign him to a contract extension. But again, he, he got to show up and show out first in order for them to do that. Uh, but this thing worked out for him. He goes from the Bills to where he becomes excellent corner, goes to the Patriots and continues that. I think he won a Super Bowl in his first year with the Patriots. So he's had a lot of success with that team, obviously. Uh, and then toward the end of his career, he goes to a team that's currently sitting at 3-1, and one, and he gets, he, goes, he gets to go play back home. So couldn't ask for a, a better career, like really. So shout out to Stephon Gilmore, shout out to the Panthers for being super aggressive, uh, and shout out to the Patriots for doing some smart, smart business. So just like Stephon Gilmore once said to Buffalo, uh, just like Stephon Gilmore is currently saying to all the New England fans, I'm out.